What's up guys? It's like 5.30 in the morning. Um, I'm actually about to drive to the airport to catch a flight to Portland, Maine in search of the infamous striped bass. So I've wanted to catch a striped bass probably since I got back into fishing. So since like 2017, 2018, I just haven't had the chance to do it. And anytime I've gone on vacation on the coast where there are striped bass, it's been just not like for a fishing trip or I haven't had any fishing gear with me. So finally, I just booked a trip up to Maine. Um, I have somewhere to stay up there. So I'm gonna just go up there and hopefully we can hook into some stripers. I don't even, it doesn't even have to be a big one. It, I, any, I'll be happy with any striper, even if it's just a little schooly. I don't care. I just want to catch a striped bass. So we're going to head to the airport. I'll go over all the, you know, travel gear, my rods, everything that I can bring and show you guys like, you know, what I use for flying and fishing. So it's going to be a little different because I'm just doing everything with a carry on this time. So we're going to have to stop at a tackle shop and get some, we have to stop anyways to get bait. So we're going to have to get some, some tackle. So I'll, I'll go over all of that. When we get there, I'll show you everything that I'm bringing. I'll go over the setups that I'm gonna use and hopefully we can hook in to a striped bass. Could be like a 20 inch striped bass. I just wanna catch a striped bass. I've never caught one. So yeah, let's get going. The best rental car ever. Get my water. My water. All right, so we got the rental car. Very small. <laughs> so now we're gonna head to a tackle shop and see if they have any bait for us. And then we're gonna start fishing. All right, so those guys were super nice. We got some stinky frozen mackerel. And then just some weights. So basically, with the uh, mackerel, you have to use a inline turbo hook in Maine. So I have those. I, I was able to get those through uh, security at the airport. And then, um, yeah, I'll go over everything else when we get back to the house. And that's it! Let's go. All right, guys. So it's actually the next morning. We got in pretty late last night, and the uh, when we got here, the sun was setting, so we didn't do any fishing. Figured I'd just get to it this morning, so I'll go ahead and go over all the stuff that I brought real quick, and then we'll get out there and hopefully get on some fish. All right, so we got the frozen mackerel that I picked up yesterday. As far as rod setups, I have an Albright conventional nine foot, and then a St. Croix spinning nine foot so this is the albright and then this is the saint croix and then as far as reels for the spinning setup i brought a daiwa eliminator 4500 with 30 pound braid and then a stratic 5000 and then for the albright conventional i have this accio 656 and i think that's 40 pound braid on there and then as far as tackle goes, so what I was actually able to bring was the bobbers, a bunch of sabiki rigs, a spoon, I got some storm baits. And then in Maine, when you're striper fishing, you have to use inline circle hooks. So I actually was able to get all these through security. So I have everything from 3.0 to 6.0 and a couple spools of mono. I also stopped at Walgreens and I bought these. If you plan on you know flying in somewhere and fishing with bait that you're gonna have to cut up, obviously, check before and make sure that there's some sort of convenience store or Walmart around or a dollar store or something like that. You can usually pick everything up for cheap. All right, let's get it. So our goal is to get out to that big rock out there and fish in front of it. So I also brought the worst shoes in the entire world for this. So let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna try it over here. If I have to land something, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe down there. I could try dragging it over here, landing it there. 
We'll figure that out when it happens, if it happens. Perfect. I feel like that'll stay on. Let's see if we can get it out there. Something eats this, I'm gonna freak out, guys. I'm gonna freak out. Oh, there's a fish. Sweet. I think it's a striper. Oh my gosh. My first striper. Come here, bro. No, don't go that way. Come this way. Come this way. Yeah. See what you are. Either way, it's probably something I've never. Oh, it is a striper. Yeah, it's a good one too. I mean, I think. Oh my gosh, guys, it's a striper. Oh no, he's not that big. He just looks bigger from up here. It's probably like 20, low 20s. Ah, oh, it's so cool. It's a real life striper. I'm gonna die on these rocks. Come here, bro. Oh my gosh, a striped bass. Hey, we did it. It didn't take long. No, 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 come here. Oh yeah. Oh, come here, buddy. We did it, guys. A striped bass. Oh my gosh, that water is so cold. My first striper. Check him out. Look at this dude. They're really pretty. Let's go see if we can get a bigger one. Let's get you back in the water. I'm thinking. I just give him a good send off. Oh yeah. Yeah, he swam off real solid. All right, we did it. Finally caught a striper. Let's get back out there, see if we can get a bigger one. All right, so we obviously know they're out there. So we're just gonna repeat the same thing and hope for a bigger one. All right, I'm gonna go eat breakfast because I'm hungry. The tide is way lower. The tide swings here are so crazy. It's really cool. Alright guys, so went to town earlier, did a bunch of stuff. Now I'm heading back out for an afternoon session. The tide's coming in as you can see so hopefully the stripers will come in with it maybe we can catch another one so cool wow it's come up so much that's crazy i'm using 30 or 40 pound mono i'm not completely sure to be honest with you guys uh Something I've kind of always done, I never actually really like look at the, I mean, I do look at the, the pound rating of the mono, but I always just look at the thickness of the line and then just pick what I want, like based off of that. I hardly ever look at the actual, if it's like 30 or 40 or whatever. This wind is crazy right now. Oh, there we go, it's under. Oh. Something small. Still got it, yeah. Got whatever it is. Oh, that's pretty strong. Not that small. Oh, that's a striper. It's another little schooly guy. I didn't really think about landing him here. Um, oh, there's another one following it. That's cool. The other one keeps trying to bite it. Or the bait. He's trying to bite the bait. Oh, the other one's going crazy. What is that other one doing? Acting like a mahi mahi. Alright, little dude. He's a little too big to flip. Oh, that's a bigger one under it. There's a big one down there. He might not be too big to flip. I don't want to hurt him. Nice and gentle. There we go. They're so pretty. So this one, 
This one's smaller, a lot smaller than that one this morning. I mean, not that the one this morning was any type of substantial size, but the one that was behind him that was following him was a lot bigger, so that was cool. I'm just gonna toss this dude back. There he goes. Swam off, <laughs> he swam off really fast. All right, let's get back out there and get another one. I think they just kind of are hanging out out here. They're strong little fish. That that was not a big fish. He pulled pretty good. And I'm using a nine foot rod. I mean, it's not like it's a, you know, a light setup. It's a 5,000 Shimano. They're pretty strong little guys. Can't imagine what a big one would feel like. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, these things fight, man. They're strong. I don't know if that's a better fish, but they're really strong. Little bruisers. I gotta land this guy over here. They dig, they like dig really strong. All right, buddy, come on up. Use the wave. They're so fat. These guys are fat. Look at that fat little boy. Let's go get him back. Give this guy a nice little send off. There you go. And I just switched over to one of those big storm baits, so. See if we can get anything on this. All right, guys. I don't think it's gonna happen tonight, so. I'm gonna go eat dinner. And then I'll probably see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow morning. All right, so obviously the tides come back in and I think I'm gonna have to get my feet wet to get back to the house. It's cold it feels pretty good actually. See you guys in the morning. All right guys, so I lied. It's the next evening. We got busy today and went and did a bunch of touristy stuff, but we are at the Spurwink River because I want to try and catch some backwater stripers because I think that would be cool. And then tomorrow we're going to a couple beaches and we're going to try and catch some at the beach. So let's see, I got some clam bellies or clams. I don't really know if they're the bellies, but I like saying clam bellies. So I got some clam bellies and we're gonna throw them out here. See if we can catch anything. All right, so this one I'm gonna put right like along this bank. Cause I feel like it's deep here. And if I was a big old striped bass, I would just be swimming up in there looking for food. Oh my gosh, a big old clam, clam belly. I'm gonna throw it right there. There's probably some special way to hook these. I'm sure someone's watching this right now, like, oh my God, like, what are you doing? Looks good to me. Should be good. We're in prime time. Prime time. Look how much the tides come up. It's crazy. All right, so nothing at this spot. I think it's too late in the uh, summer for Striper to be up in the marshes. So we're gonna hit the beaches tomorrow, bright and early. So it actually is the next morning this time. And we are at Kettle Cove. Got some frozen mackerel and herring. So let's see if we can get anything. He's still there. Yeah. 
Oh, this one's fighting good. I mean, they all fight good. Oh, this one's strong. This might be a bigger fish. It's so hard to tell with these fish. They're crazy. Oh yeah, it's a big one. I don't even know how to like describe how they fight. I don't even, I honestly don't know how to, how to explain it. It's not even that big. It tricked me. These fish are so strong. Every time. That's still a good fish, but. That seriously felt like such a bigger fish. It's a good little guy. These things fight so hard. I seriously thought this fish was like 30 inches. It's crazy. <laughs> that little dude. Give you a good send off. There he goes. I'm not going to say, again, this is a big or a small fish. It feels big. But these things are so tricky. Get out on this rock. Come this way, bro. This one's staying down more. That last one was... Coming up out of the water. Uh, same as last one, maybe a little bigger. I feel like, yeah, that's a good fish. This is probably the biggest one I've caught. They're so pretty. I really like the dorsal fin. Like a little shark. Darn it, darn it. This one I can actually. There he goes. All right, the sun's coming up pretty good now, and the tide's getting pretty low, so we're gonna head out. Bam, 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 bam. All right, guys, it's the next morning. We didn't do any fishing last night, so it's our last day here, and we like this beach a lot, so we figured we'd come back here and try it one more time before we fly back. This little duck dude is, or I don't know what he is, not a duck, but he's cute and he's fat and he dives down. He swims around all over the place. It is chilly out here. So the tide's coming in pretty good. So I'm gonna move up a rock. I'm gonna get on this one. Uh, same one I was on yesterday. And after I did that yesterday, the fish started eating. So hopefully that repeats itself today. These commercial fishermen are funny. It's like, I don't know if they're mad at each other or if they just yell and talk like that all the time. You see how much the tides come up today compared to yesterday. It's a lot higher. That's the rock I was on earlier. Fishing here is pretty cool. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot different than the stuff I'm used to. There's a fish. So I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say it's a big fish because you know, every time I do that, but God, this one feels big, guys. <laughs> the drag is not that loose. Feels like a good one. And, I mean, this is a, this, I think I said it yesterday, but this is a pretty heavy setup. I mean, this, this is not a small rod. They really are a lot of fun. They do these big head shakes. Let's see if I can get a look at you. See what you look like. Come on. Come on over this way. You better be big. Let me see. 
Oh yeah, that's a good one, guys. Like for real, for real. That's actually a good one. Oh wow, that's a big fish, guys. I did it. I got a big striper. Such a pretty fish. I mean, for me, that's pretty big. I don't know what he is. I can, I'll measure him on the rod and then I'll take a measurement later. Such a good fish. I'm so happy right now. We did it. <laughs> All right. Over here. I don't know if he can. Yeah, we'll, I'll give this guy a nice send off over here. Oh yeah, he kicked off. Sweet. We did it, guys. Oh, he's up here now. Look at him. Just swimming through the seaweed. Now oh, he's right here. He's turning around. Oh, there he is. Look at him go. Well, that's good to see. He swam off good. Oh, I'm so happy. We did it. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for the video. Um, it's pretty sick. I got that nice fish. The very last day, in the last couple hours of fishing, so that was cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head back to the house, get everything packed back up, and then head to the airport to fly back home. Probably won't film anything else, so this will probably be it for the video. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.